Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we're gonna do some impact drills, right? So you can get your impact down. So you basically catch them thin sometimes, catch them on the top of the ball sometimes. What else would you say you do? Like shots hit that you don't like. Behind. You hit behind it at times too? Mm -hmm. Okay. So really need to learn how to make sure we're just hitting this ball first. So it's really if we don't learn it from here to here first, we're never gonna learn it in the full swing. So we gotta figure out how to do it lower first. So first drill is just this. We're gonna go here and I like to start here. So that way we can just the backswing is really just using this shoulder as a lever to turn this down and this goes up, boom. Stretch out, we're in a good position there to hit. So, we're gonna go from here, we're gonna lean into our left side, probably 65%, we lean in by just kicking our hip over there. Then we turn, we're just turning around that left side. And I just want you to go from here to here. Now I should notice the club staying outside with our hands left, okay? So I'm leaning into a little bit here. So you notice my finish, my hands are here, the club head's over there. And you can even go a little less than that, but I want you to try rehearsing it a couple times without a ball first. And just hinge. Yeah, it's in. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's in, hinge in front of your body first. Oh. Just right here. You're right in front of you. Good. Now to rotate back, you just want to feel this. That's it. See how the shoulder goes down, lifts this up. Mm -hmm. That's all you're feeling. You come through. So try a couple swings on your own just to feel it first. Real slow to feel. Okay. Now when you're using your body correct, you'll notice that the club will feel light, you know, when we're doing it correctly. So, so should, I one more getting, time. should I be getting down to the ground right now? Well, I'm going to show you here once I do hinge. Okay. Now, make sure we hinge. This is what's important. So you go back again. Hinge, shoulder up. There we go. Good. Okay, good. I just don't want you to get it too flat like that. About right here. Okay. Yeah, so stay in. All your, remember, we're going to stay leaned in. Now go back. Now don't, I don't want you to turn it towards the target. See, this is one of your problems. Your hips goes okay. towards the target. We can't move it. So lean in a little bit. Okay, now, now go back. There you go. Now go forward slowly. Okay, good, good. Okay, now try it where you're clipping it. And you're gonna have to feel for you, since you have that little bit of trouble, that we're diving this left shoulder down in on the way down. So let's try clipping that grass a couple times, doing this little drill. Go slow when you're doing it, but just feel like we dive that left shoulder into the ground, pivoting around that left leg. Now go forward and dive down. Yep, yeah, good. Good, that's it. So there's that forward movement a bit, a bit of forward, not a ton, because we're always on, already on the left, but a little bit of forward while your shoulder's diving down. Just think of it as this motion of you going like this, you know, just down to it. So, okay, now shift just there, now come down. Now go up, oh. see if you feel like there's, there you go, that shift down. Perfect, excellent. Okay, now do it at speed without the ball. Just like kind of, you know, half, whatever you feel comfortable with. Good. Just try again. And then we'll hit. We're just diving into that ground. Good. Now let's try hitting it like that. I'm going to make sure this is just in the right ball position. There you go. Good. That sound that's compression good job so it, it, it's you know I, you said you heard it but it's interesting like you know that you do know the difference now of the difference in sound when you hit it the correct way right so I mean you all you gotta do is hear it and you know whether or not you compress it um, yeah look at your tracking me numbers here Dive, dive, dive. Okay. And here. 
So just so you, we can talk a little bit about these numbers. So that last one, your attack angle is down finally, down to negative 1.4. Well, we can, we can get up to three if we want. Cliff path was two degrees inside out, perfect. Base angle, perfect, zero. Now your ball, um, I thought I had uh, another one on here. I don't, I don't have that, but excellent. With your attack angle and low point, that's great, good stuff. Okay, do you want to change it to the include the number you wanted. Okay, now that wasn't the same, right? No. Sound? Mm -mm. Um, you, you didn't, yeah, you came up, you can see a little bit more. Um, now, foot pad was a little more in doubt, still kind of neutral, not bad, but you know, still good with your attack angle. It makes sense that your attack angle is more if you're swinging a little more over the top. Um, so yeah, I mean, remember, so let's, let me show you one other thing when you take it to the top, go to the drill, take it, yeah, take it up to the top. And we, when we talk about checkpoints, remember, come, now start coming down slowly. This is where we talk about P6 when you're parallel to the ground. Okay, now if you were negative 1.3 in the path, you were probably out here with it. Okay. Okay, we want it just barely be behind your hands. Okay. Now for you to feel the proper feel, I'm just going to do this to you. Now stand up front of it. Now swing through really slowly now. Feel it. Okay, good. Now you should notice that when you swing through, it's just your oh, body right. is carrying. Yeah. So do you feel like when you get there, it's just all you're doing is your body's rotating. And right. that's what we're ultimately going for. Okay. When I pull it back that far, it's just exaggerating a little bit for you to feel that. Now, let's feel like we stay on that front foot. And the big move for you is feeling this, I want you to feel this dive down as much as you can with that shoulder. So go up, start diving down, dive, dive, dive. Yes, get that leg down if you have. Yes, if you gotta drop down a little bit to do it, that's fine. Now let's do a clip in the grass without, at a little, little almost normal speed. Okay, let's, a little more dive in it. And let's try to end if we can right with our hands out hands in club out i mean excuse me dive there you go <laughs> good excellent okay good good you're doing good so <laughs> the harder we swing typically it gets like uh that's uh paralysis by analysis is that what that means yes <laughs> The harder we swing, you know, the more we're going to get straightened out like that. We can't pull the angle forever. I mean, this is going to just take over because of the angle of the momentum. But um, to give you that feel of what I want you to have with the hands in, club out, I want you to just hit this a couple times. Now, we're going to have a club in the middle of the bag. I still want you to feel the dive in this and everything, even though we're hitting the middle there. But I want you to hit about 50%, and I want you to hold your finish for me, please. Okay, now see how your hands are all left and the club would still be out there. Yep, let's hit it a little harder this time. So we can have it move a little bit. I feel like you have to hit the bag to kind of go up to this way towards me. Just so you swing a little inside out. Remember, start a little more on your left side. There you go. And we're pivoting kind of around that. Good. Good. Now see your hands are coming in and the club's out there. That's what we're trying to feel. Let's do that again with one with a bigger dive this time. Really feeling like when you get to that top, what are we doing? Diving with that left shoulder, hard. Excellent job, so that's great. Okay, good. All right, now let's try, after we did that, let's just go ahead and try to hit this. It's okay if you, if you feel more comfortable doing that little uh, pump like that with uh -huh. your body. Yeah, go ahead and do that. That feels what you need to do right now. So pretty good, huh? Yeah. That sound was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> sound was really good. And the club was out too. Mm -hmm. Really fun to show you that one video. Um, so we had uh, tack angle down again, good. Club path was great again, 2.0. You're in front of the ball again for your low point. Very good. Mm -hmm.
Very good. Uh, does it feel good, Mr. Yeah. Yeah. So you this is that. just, I, I'd like to show you one more, okay? Let me stand where you're at. So, you know, there's a bunch of different impact drills to use, but, you know, I find the one you're doing there is pretty darn effective for most people. And I guess the thing is with drills is why I know so many for one thing is because some of them, some people like different ones, right? And so, but this one is really good, I feel like, just to feel what impact is. So, like most people when I teach, I ask what impact is, they have no idea. They just, they go, I don't know, like this, right? So how can you get to impact if you don't even know what it is? It's pretty hard, right? Impact. So let me show I think an easy, easy way to find it is kind of go like this, turn our hips out like here, okay? We get a little side bend, then we're gonna come down. That's impact. So our head is staying the same, right? We're gonna come here. Hips are cleared, right? A little forward. We're bringing the club back. Here, there's that's impact position. Now from here, I want you to do this. Was that compression? <laughs> Pretty good, right? So you can move your hips a bit on the way back, yeah. but what you're gonna notice is that when you start in impact position, you're gonna fight really hard to get back to it. And that's all you're thinking about is how do I get back to where I just came from? So your hips are just moving a little bit back. You don't even think about it. Just do whatever you got to do, do to get the club up to about where I was, you know, hands about waist high or whatever. But let's first check to see what your impact position looks like. Let's go here, put the club up here. And now rotate kind of your body over here, right? Now keep your body like that. Keep your, pull your head back. Keep that here. And then come down. Get that tilt. Good. Now you should feel, you know, probably, I don't know, 75% of your weight in the front foot there. Good. Okay, now we're going to do it from right there. Nice, very good again. How'd that feel? Good. So do you, did you feel like you got back to where you started? Pretty close or hard to tell? Yeah, okay, no, good. I feel like I went back okay. almost kind of like a rubber band. Yeah, you're, so, you're kind of stuck like kind this. Of wound up and so just going back to it. Good thought. Let's try, let's try it now just sitting up here and let's see if you can rotate into it without, you know, holding the club up. Let's, okay, good, so you have your Shoulder down here a bit. We're kind of like this, and knee in. Yep. Feel like you're on the outside of the front foot, yep. and then we just have our head back over the ball still, which is you know perfect like that. Good job. Excellent again. Okay. So I don't know. You've hit probably six shots now. Um, let's see what the attack angle on that one was. If we did back to it. Oh, we're getting there. Negative 4.8. Champ. There you go. Club path of 1.8. Excellent. Obviously you're in front of the ball. Um, so let's, let's can try, try it. Let's try another one. One more <laughs> impact. Yeah, you can do a full swing, but I do want you to understand <laughs> something. It's going to be, you know, will it happen? It's, it's a hard thing to change. We, like I said, we have to work under here for a while, but let's we'll do okay. one for fun. Okay. Right, just to try it. But it's it, you still have that book in you of the old swing of not doing right. it. So we really got to work on these small ones to do it. But Does that look good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little bit behind on that one, right? Let's do it. Let's do it a little bit again. I'm gonna walk you. Let me stand where you're at. Okay. Should I be going back here. further than I if, did? If it helps you get a little momentum, okay. then yes. I feel like you're standing up a little bit doing this too much, so make sure we're kind of we're still gonna be tilted. Yeah. Our hands are forward here. So much tilt in this outside here. My hips open. My shoulders are barely open to the target. And what happens, I think, with this drill, we got to be real wary of, is that we don't suck the club way in here behind us. It's almost like this is why I always have a line to stick down. So what I'm thinking when I'm doing this drill is how do I start this thing back straight? Okay. Because once I do that, then I'm going to probably end up in a pretty good position. You know, if I do that. So let's try it one more time. We'll just do a full swing. Just how do you feel? So get nice and steady over it first.
Good. I, I would say the one thing you do a little different is you're doing pretty good with the body, uh -huh. but we are still having a little issue with, the, with that shoulder. Okay. <laughs> so, but the thing is, that's interesting is you look at this drill and how you're doing it. You're putting yourself in a good enough position that we're not hearing the great compression that much. We did on that person, I believe, but you know, you're still making contact with it. Okay. It's, you know, a little thinner, not in the right grooves, but you're still getting away with it. So that's good sign. I mean, we're not hitting every ball perfect, but it still shows how important this is. So let's try, let's I try a like practice. It's a, it's a little bit hard to feel that down when I'm going like that kind of already twisted. Yeah. Well, cause direction. you are with it up yeah. quite a bit and then you're supposed to go down. So I, yeah. Let's try a practice swing right now, like three quarter length and we're going to hit this regular, but I want to do it just three quarter length and let's feel. And I'll even do, I'll go back to yeah, this that's perfect. Dive. If you feel like you need to do the pump drill for a right. minute, that's fine. There. Excellent. Now let's try this here. Oh. And you pump the drill, you need to pump it like you did. Okay. I mean, better, better contact. I know it wasn't your best one, right? Yeah. It was, it was a little bit uh, in front of me. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, can I show you one final one for you to practice when yeah. I'm away? Okay, so just set up to this. I'm not gonna, oh, I'm gonna, okay. you, you can just do this one, so simple. You set up normal. Tell me when you're ready and set up. Okay. Okay, you're just gonna do your three quarter swing with this. I, I don't want you, you don't even have to think about diving, just go, just hit this ball, okay? Okay. So I'm putting it, what is that, about four Six. inches? Six. six inches ahead of you. Okay, six inches ahead of you normally. Okay, now it's maybe seven. <laughs> I'm making it hard. Go after and get that ball. Let's see how you do it. Wow, you did it. Now the ball went left, of course, because you're our, the club's already starting to go left. But so you had to have gotten down, right? There's no no way else that would happen, right? right. So good job. Now I don't like using this drill a lot. Okay, I, I like to mix it in with other ones. Like let's say you do three or four of another drill, then maybe do this. I, I don't want you to get used to this one too much, but um, let's try uh, another one of these, and then I just want you to do a three-quarter regular shot, right? Okay. Almost, almost immediately after you hit this, because I want it to be in your mind what you did. And we only had about eight to ten seconds before we are now before we've lost it. Now, are you ready right here? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to move this one about. What would you say since I'm a little short? Is that six, six. inches? Okay, that's six. Okay. So I'd say anywhere four to six inches is probably decent. Okay, good. Now we got like 18 seconds. We're going to get ready for a swing. Set up normal to this. Is that where you want it? Wherever you want it. Okay, and just do that three quarter swing and hit it. Okay, so I think it'll prove it. You caught it thin, right? Yeah. So we didn't do it exactly. Let's give it one more try, okay? Okay, do you want me to do a drill first? Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do that um, same drill. Oh, first you're gonna go in front of, and then okay. I want you to be a little quicker this next time with the second shot. Okay. Because really we have eight to ten seconds before our body really has forgot forgotten it. Okay? So we wanna be you tell me when you're in a good position. Okay. Okay. So hit this one again. And try, I know this is hard not to go left, but try to hit this one out to the right as best you can. Okay. Just try. Good. I mean, with that being that far ahead, I'm not upset with it being thin. Okay. Now here we go. Oh, okay. So good. Okay. I'm gonna hinge it in front of you. There you go. Oh. Okay. Well, hey, hey. <laughs> heavy. I'll take heavier right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's do one final one that we're going. And this is gonna be the final shot. Okay? okay. So this is called. Some will call it the penny drill. Set up regularly. Okay, is this comfortable for you? Yep. Now I'm gonna put something like this, I'm gonna use a penny a quarter. This is just a little like rubber piece. I'm gonna put this about four inches ahead of you. I want you to take this off the ground, okay? You can do it from hinged if you want, however you want to do it. Either way. You did it and look at that I shot. Did. How good that was. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. So we know you. <laughs> That's funny. That was a great shot too. So you know you had to have a neck. We had a tackling on a four point seven. 
Great shot. Good job. Excellent. So there, there's three drills right there that, I mean, the, the ones that you did with the thing ahead of you, even that penny drill, shows you you can do it. <laughs> we just saw it, so good job. Thanks. Love you. Love you. Love you. It's weird to shake your hand when I love you. <laughs> <sighs> That's how I end. I, 